fanfare for the U.S. this 4th of July. There's a big push to keep the souvenirs at our national with a Made in the USA label. CBS 2's Jessica Schneider has more on the new effort. Patriotic pitch as the country prepares to celebrate our independence. But as we honor the birth of our nation, one lawmaker is asking, where's the country pride at our national parks? The fact that this Liberty Bell tie is made in China makes no sense. That's why Congressman Steve Israel is pushing a bill to require gift shops at the national parks around the country to only sell items made in the USA. So we should just have a simple requirement. This is not a 10-point plan. This is not a controversial deal. The Sagamore Hills historic site was home to our 26th President Theodore Roosevelt. It was known as his summer White House. But right here in the gift shop, merchandise is prominently displayed that, yes, was made in China and Mexico and El Salvador. I think we have to get back to our own grassroots. And this is the place to start because everybody sooner or later comes to national box. Vendors, though, say it's not that easy. Items made in the U.S. are more expensive for retailers to purchase and then sell. At this point, I mean, it's 2013. I mean, we've been buying stuff from other countries for, what, 50 years, 100 years now? And now to switch back to American, it's going to take a while. Congressman Israel contends that once things change, prices will drop. But if the National Park Service said that we're going to sell American-made products in the United States, that would gear up new manufacturing entities. An initiative to kickstart our nation's manufacturing sector just before the 4th of July. In Oyster Bay, Long Island, Jessica Schneider, CBS 2 News. New York Senator Kirsten Gillibrand has introduced similar legislation in the U.S. Senate.